Welcome to your daily dose of tech news brought to you by MRD Future Tech. Now, today we're diving into two major stories. The first one, artificial intelligence, and the second one, humanoid robots. Yes, human robots in your household helping you do your chores. We're going to look into Elon Musk's ongoing saga with OpenAI. I'm going to highlight the power struggle that's offering or rather differentiating two different visions that are shaping the future of AI. Now, remember... The dream of robots helping you may be very close. Recent reports indicate that Meta, the company that owns Facebook, the tech giant, is now working together with Reality Labs and they're making a significant investment in humanoid robotics. They're aiming to develop a platform where you could have robots managing your home. Meta's ambitious plans isn't just necessarily becoming a hardware manufacturer of robots themselves. Instead, their vision is much broader. They're reportedly building a comprehensive platform, much like Google's Android operating system, that encompasses essential AI, sensors, and software needed to power the future robotic helpers. This would allow other companies to build even their own robot hardwares integrating Meta's platform to create a diverse ecosystem of household robots. The initial focus, according to reports, is on practical household tasks. Think about folding your laundry. Think about carrying your items. Even loading the dishwasher. Yes, you heard it here first. They're seemingly mundane chores and they seem as key to demonstrating the value and potential of these robots to a public that might initially be hesitant without welcoming humanoid robots. Take a look at this. Mark, humanoid robots sound like something out of a sci-fi movie. What is Meta's vision for this venture here and how much are they spending to do it? So Meta wants to own this still nascent humanoid market, right? These are home robots that can do chores for you. Maybe fold laundry, carry a glass of water, bring something for you up the stairs. We've seen Tesla get into this game with Optimus. We've seen Boston Dynamics with Spot. Other companies like Apple and Google DeepMind are making investments here. But Meta wants to be the Android or Qualcomm of the humanoid industry, empower the underpinnings, the software, the hardware, the artificial intelligence, the sensor stack, the compute for the whole industry. So they're talking to several partners, including Unitree. They're talking to a company called Figure AI. Uh, and they want to power this. And today they're starting up a new division run by the former CEO of GM's crews, Mark Witten. They're going to hire about 100 people for the robotics field. And their plan is to try to own this market. Now, that's very interesting to me because when a company hires a new CEO and is about to hire 100 people in robotics to start creating robots like Meta, you should take them seriously. But remember the time when Mark Zuckerberg asked his board for $10 billion to come up with sunglasses that he believed would revolutionize the world. Where are those sunglasses today? Are you using them? I'm very doubtful that Meta is going to be able to pull this off. I believe that their focus has shifted. I believe that they've corrupted humanity through some of their policies that have silenced people from being able to express themselves and you know just all the ills that the platform has caused. And even till date, I have the same squabble that I had with them years back. Why does Meta not pay creators the same or equally or even more than what YouTube does? Because Meta has been there for longer. They're more established in the social media space, yet they continue to abuse creators. So I don't know if them making a robot that's going to be assisting you fold your clothes or laundry is going to help. However, they have changed strategy slightly. This time around, they're not working in isolation. I think they're tired of Mark Zuckerberg's failing ideas. They have now engaged or they're in discussions with established robotics companies like Unitree. And Unitree is known for their agile robot dogs. I'm sure you've seen those. And uh, the Figure AI, and uh, Figure AI, sorry, which is a California-based company backed by major tech players like OpenAI and NVIDIA. And these collaborations suggest that Meta is looking to leverage existing expertise in robotics while contributing their own strengths in AI and augmented reality. Again, I say, where is their strength in augmented reality? Now, while acknowledging that the current humanoid robots aren't quite ready for the market, Meta believes that their ongoing advancements in areas like hand tracking, efficient computing, always on sensors are laying the ground for this future. They see their investments in AI and uh, XR as directly complementary to the development of robust and capable household robots. This push towards practical AI solutions for home comes as a broader landscape of AI development is facing its own challenges 
and Power Dynamics. You remember we brought you the last time the robot that's being developed by Nvidia that's going to be able to have sex with people, fall in love with people, engage with people at a sexual level. What is the world becoming to when people are going to have domestic helpers as robots? Sexual partners as robots. ChatGTP is already doing everybody's assignments and homework. We might be moving towards a world where human beings might need to find other things to do because robots are doing these things. Which brings us to our second story. There's an ongoing saga between Elon Musk and OpenAI. Is that a new conflict? Musk is the founder or rather co-founder of OpenAI together with Sam Altman. However, he's very concerned about the company's direction in recent years. He's been very critical about the shift towards a more profit model and their close ties with Microsoft. We all know that Bill Gates likes to take over people's markets and disrupt them in the wrongest of ways. And now he's closing up to OpenAI and Bill, uh, Elon Musk is really not happy about this. And he's actually looking at bringing back OpenAI to the original mission of developing an open source beneficial AI for all. Like Elon Musk expected AI to be like blockchain, open source where everybody can use it. Sam Altman said, you know what? I am greedy. I want money. I want to be like you. I want to be a billionaire. Is it greed? Is it him wanting to be a billionaire? But what we're now getting to see is that Elon Musk is going the legal route to try and win back OpenAI. Look, I think he's going to make it. He is a head of department in government. And if anything about the US and their judges, I'll leave it there. Now, there's concerns that have culminated in recent attempts uh, where people are saying that they're concerned about Musk wanting to acquire OpenAI. And he actually put up a bid which was rejected by the board in Sam Altman. And the rejection underscores the fundamental disagreements about the future of AI and the developments and the tensions about competing in this very broad but interesting two visions. Take a look at this. OpenAI's board has rejected Elon Musk's $97.4 billion unsolicited bid to take control of the company, to buy the company. Uh, the air chairman of OpenAI, Brett Taylor, writes that OpenAI is not for sale and the board has unanimously rejected Mr. Musk's latest attempt to disrupt his competition. Remember, Musk had enlisted a group of wealthy allies, those who invested in his ex-AI, to buy the nonprofit's assets, including Valor Equity Partners, Barron Capital, Vi Capital, Joe Lonsdale's uh, eight and Ari Emanuel and uh, Sam Altman who of course heads up OpenAI is a co-founder of the startup along with Elon Musk had rebuffed this offer earlier this week telling Bloomberg that he saw it as Elon Musk's attempt to slow us down and he stressed that the company is not for sale now we have the formal response from OpenAI's board to that effort to buy the company from Elon Musk now Musk's concerns center around the potential dangers of centralized control of powerful AI technology he argues that concentrating power in the hands of a few corporations could stifle innovation limit access increase the risk of misuse and he's advocating for a more decentralized open source approach the same thing as Bitcoin and this is why I love cryptocurrency so much and this is why at MRD Future Tech if you join the membership on this YouTube page we prioritize teaching you about cryptocurrencies because they're open source you're able to benefit from them imagine if Bitcoin was a thing that only Bill Gates and Microsoft had access to and they bought it first and everybody else is to get it from them and that is why open source blockchain will always be better it's the best way to ensure that blockchain benefits all humanity and that's what Elon Musk is fighting for with AI or open AI. And open AI under the leadership of Sam Altman, it appears to be prioritizing a more pragmatic approach, balancing the need for resources, strategic alliances, with their stated commitment to responsible AI development. We all remember what media companies did in the time of COVID where they spoke about responsible reporting. I'm not going to say it because they tend to block these videos. But this clash of visions raises fundamental questions about the future of AI. Who's in control of its development? What are the ethical implications of increasingly powerful AI systems? And how can we ensure that AI benefits all humanity, not just a select few? The outcome of this power struggle and the decisions made in the coming years will have a profound implication for the entire AI ecosystem. It's going to shape the trajectory of how people see AI for generations to come. And in conclusion, both the advancements in the household robotics, where Meta is trying to get involved, and Musk, Elon Musk and OpenAI saga, they're both just highlighting one crucial question 
facing the AI community. The pursuit of practical AI solutions for everyday life. Like helpers, progressing rapidly, it's driven by AI and robotics and augmented reality coming together. At the same time, we're now having a struggle of control where influential leaders want to control AI and Elon Musk is coming through and saying, but look, there's an importance of ethical considerations here and transparency and access. But the future of AI is not predetermined. It's being shaped right now as you see it. And that's why it's so important for you to make sure that you understand the ever-evolving technological landscape and that you can be a part of it, an exciting revolution, benefit yourself, learn about AI skills, and thrive in this new world of AI with practical tools that you can use to monetize and gain knowledge that MRD Future Tech gives you. So stay with us and continue to explore this critical ground where we're advancing every single day to advance you with skills to profit from blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, and everything to do with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh industrial revolution. Thank you very much.